Karen who tries to be selling us, uh, sending us uh, the details. But Sylvia, uh, you get an award for longevity at Brussels Shindigs. Do they get any easier? <laughs> no, they're not getting any easier. I put my two cents worth for Mario Monti's award. I think you get an award for coming up with dramatic headlines about how quickly there has to be a Eurozone solution. Uh, didn't he say like a week ago we had a week to save the Euro or else? Uh, I think the week is up uh, uh, even before the summit as we speak. No, they're not getting any easier, but uh, as we're talking about having no illusions, uh, I share something with Angie there. I have no illusions about this either. The, the, the bottom line is we have this uh, ultimately this conflict, uh, how to get to more Europe. Uh, and it's very curious that sometimes people in the market say, yeah, but we have to have the Eurobonds first and we have to do this first and that first. They're the same people that for over a decade have been telling us this European Monetary Union can't work because you haven't got fiscal integration, you've got, you haven't got economic harmonization, you haven't got the institutional framework to back up this monetary union and the same people are now telling us you know what never mind I mean the monetary union might not have worked without the fiscal framework and the institutional framework but the euro bonds that's a bloody good idea to come up with euro bonds first where everybody signs up for it and after that we spend merrily ever after without any control and this is I think the, the, the feeling that Angela Merkel has it can't work uh, they want now to basically not put another cart before the horse so that uh, we have to pull two carts minus horse. They, they want to come up with an institutional framework now and say we have to get there, we have to get there fast. But the, the feeling is there that when all these southern European nations, especially at the moment Italy, calling for solidarity from uh, some of the northern, let's say the German bloc, they're calling for solidarity, maybe they're the ones that are not coming up with solidarity because what they're be basically saying is we want your money but we don't want to give up anything for it. And the bottom line is there are countries that have to give up. Some of their national sovereignty might have to change constitutions. It's a long haul. It's into deep space. It's nothing the markets like. But without that, all the other stuff will not come to fruition. And I think that's what Merkel is pushing for. There's this famous quote between Merkel and Sarkozy from, uh, I think, a year ago, where, where Mr. Sarkozy is supposed to have said, I'm the brawn and you're the brain. And Angela Merkel is supposed to have said, it sounds too good to not to be true, said, no, I'm the bank. And I think ultimately that's what it boils down to. Well, fantastic. Sylvia, thank you very much indeed. That. Anyway, we found out what Mario Monti got an award for. You couldn't write this stuff, could you? Yeah. He got an award. Uh, presented by the European Taxpayers Association to honour his long-lasting political and personal engagement for Europe. Uh, what is interesting as well, the comedian in the UK, Jimmy Carr, also got an award.